It's the most wonderful time of the year With the kids jingle belling and the oh, oh, oh. Welcome to the Geek Cup I am your host, Ken Kringle No, just kidding, guys It's me, Ken! Holy shit! Welcome to a very jolly holiday special of the Geek Cup like our Halloween episode that passed a couple months ago, today's episode is going to be basically the same thing. It's going to be a series of questions, and I'm going to answer those questions, but with the assistance of my fellow ninjas, Ka, Jaws Fanatic, Acid Core, everyone's favorite F-bomb dropping Blood Snake 007. So now me personally, I'm a Christmas guy. I celebrate Christmas, but I know there's a lot of holidays going on out there at the same time. And that is super cool. I want you to celebrate your day just as we're going to celebrate this today. This geek cap isn't just for Christmas. It's for all of the holidays. It's to bring us all together and be the ninja family that we are. So today we got three questions and one bonus question. Question number one, what's the earliest holiday film that you remember watching? I'll get to my answer in a moment, but first let's head on over to our Holiday Ninja Squad and see what they have to say. Hey, happy holidays, everyone. Uh, first off, Frankie, watch the language. It's Christmas time. Okay, let's do this thing. Um, what is the first holiday film that I remember watching? Um, it's gotta be Mickey's Christmas Carol. I'm not sure if that counts because it's not a full feature, but it's definitely the first Christmas movie that I can remember watching. Hey guys, Josh Fanatic here uh, with my little buddy, the abominable Bumble. That's right. He has his teeth back, but he's much more mellow than he used to be. Thanks to his friends, Yukon Cornelius, Rudolph, and Clarice. And let's not forget Herbie. And let's see, earliest Christmas movie I remember. That would have to be 1951's Scrooge with the amazing Alice Dear Sem. Um, I'm sure I saw that on TV a million times. Every time it was on, my mom put it on. So no question, that's what it is. <laughs> I think uh, the earliest holiday film I remember watching was probably Rudolph. The Red Nosed Reindeer. Every year when Christmas would roll around, I would I would really look forward to that movie. It was it was actually my favorite. In fact, uh, all year long, I uh, I looked forward to watching that movie when Christmas would roll around. There's a lovely name, Rudolph. Hey, he knows his name already. got a shiny nose. It's a, it's a shiny? I'd even say it glow. That was my earliest memory of uh, my holiday film that I liked. What's up, HDN? It's Frankie. Happy to be back. Uh, Ken, thank you for inviting me. Jake, I just want to take a quick second. just want to say thank you for all the hard work you do, man. You're the reason why HDN f rocks. Thanks, man. Keep kicking ass, brother. So I'm going to jump just right in there. Um, Question number one, what's the earliest memory that I have uh, watching uh, you know, a holiday film? It was a uh, Christmas story. I still do it every year. That's my tradition. The day of Christmas, I watch that movie. Yes, Mr. Dean. Oh my God. Thanks a lot for the answers guys appreciate it for me i have to say that my earliest holiday film was probably either prancer with sam elliott i remember that one pretty vividly or there was this other one this other one where a kid was in a hut with his giants or something and there's snow i honestly don't remember the name of it but I remember images from it, and I believe it was quite creepy, at least to me as a child at the time. If the sound of that's ringing any bells to you, let me know what it's called, because I would love to revisit that movie now that I have an appreciation for the scary stuff. I got bit by the burden bug. Question number two, what's your favorite holiday film and why? 
Okay, what is my favorite holiday film? Uh, I'm gonna go with Home Alone. It's something that we watch every holidays and uh, I love it every time. I don't get sick of it. It's the best. Uh, favorite holiday film and why? That's an easy one. It's, uh, it's a wonderful life. Uh, Frank Capra's It's a Wonderful Life. Um, what an amazing story. Um, it shows us how we, we focus on the bitter pill that life sometimes hands us instead of focusing on the cure, <laughs> which is right in front of us usually. Um, the love of our family and friends, the things that are really important. Sometimes, uh, life can get us to forget those things, but it's just a wonderful movie and a story of rebirth and actually Frank Capra's favorite film that he did which is saying something because the dude was Steven Spielberg before there was Steven Spielberg Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! well my favorite holiday film there's actually a few but I guess my favorite would have to be uh, Home Alone and that's the reason why is because, well, everybody wanted to be Kevin McAllister. I mean, he invented all these crazy booby traps and for these thieves. And it was, I mean, he's a kid and it was just, it was genius. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was hilarious. And those guys were just, and the spider. <laughs> that, that just, that was crazy. <laughs> that, that was just, I mean, I hit the floor when I saw that. I was, I was, uh, I really liked it. So yeah, I think Home Alone was probably my favorite, uh, it, it probably is my favorite uh, holiday movie. Um, yeah, it was great. That's my favorite movie right there, baby. Jingle all the way. Oh, love Arnold in there. It's in the rock em and the sock em and the, it's turbo time. I love that shit, man. Who said you could eat my cookie? It's, it's, it's turbo time. Put that cookie down, put that cookie down, put that cookie down. cookie down no all right that that's the best arnold you're gonna get out of me all right sorry about that hey, hey put that shit on the on the fucking outtakes nobody wants to see that holy crap the beard just falling all over the place here hang on hang on hang on hang on it's a ball cat <laughs> i'm cheating yeah mm-hmm Mm -hmm. My favorite holiday film, I mean, there's so many of them. There is a classic like Elf and, and Santa Claus and A Muppet Christmas Carol. It's a film that really gets to me all the time. It really touches my heart. They're just, just, I love it so much. This love, actually. Yes, it's a love story. It's, it's a whole bunch of different stories coming together and meeting as one. But it takes place as Christmas, and it's just, it's full of the holiday spirit. I love it so much. I just, I love it so much. Love Actually, a holiday movie that I can easily watch every single year for the rest of my life and never get tired of it. And while I'm at it, check out the mini sequel on YouTube. I believe it was called Red Nose Day. Red Nose Day Actually. Something like that. Just check, type in Love Actually sequel. It'll pop up. Really cool to revisit some of those characters years later and see how everything's going for them. I love a real sequel, but I know that's probably never going to happen. Love Actually. That's my pick right there. Question number three. Name an underrated holiday film that you love that others must watch. Okay, for an underrated holiday film, I got two for you guys. The first one is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. It's like this Christmas detective movie from Shane Black uh, starring Robert Downey Jr. It's really good. It's really funny. Uh, check it out. And the second one is Just Friends starring Ryan Reynolds. Uh, this is like sort of on the cusp of Ryan Reynolds becoming Ryan Reynolds. Um, he goes full on fat suit. I swear, 
Um, it's pretty funny, pretty ridiculous too at the same time, but it's really good. Check it out. Underrated holiday film. Uh, that's another easy one. I'm sure most people haven't heard of this movie, but it's called The Christmas Tree and it stars William Holden. I believe it came out in either the early 70s or late 60s, uh, but it's the story of a man um, and I... If I remember correctly, he is a, he's like a cat burglar, uh, but he has a son who's very ill, uh, and it's the story as they move toward uh, Christmas Day together. A uh, very sad film. Um, I believe I saw it when I was like 10 years old, but uh, it's always stuck with me. It's just a... Uh, an amazing film. I think a, uh, an awesome underrated holiday film would have to be Jingle All the Way. Have you finished now? No! Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad were just, that duo was just crazy. I mean, it was awesome. Uh, I think it's special because uh, what he goes through for his son um, to get that turbo, uh, what was it, turbo man? Um, and the way Arnold and Sinbad fought and struggled to get that last turbo man was uh, hilarious. That movie was hilarious. Uh, you know what? It was an underrated film. It uh, it didn't get a lot of uh, a lot of uh, feedback on it. So uh, yeah, I think it was very underrated, and I think that uh, more people should watch that because it's uh, it is hilarious. Um, what he goes through for his son, and then in the end. His son, he didn't want the toy. He wanted his dad because his dad became Turbo Man. That was, I don't know, that was a special movie. And it was very underrated. So, uh, yeah, I think that's an underrated film that uh, everybody should watch. Back to question number three. Sorry for derailing this video. But name an underrated holiday film and why I recommend it. Come on, man. Definitely Die Hard. Everybody seems to think that it's an action movie. The f it's a holiday film. One of the best ones. Come on. High five if you agree. Well, for me, I'm going to go with something uh, more recent. I'm going to go with Anna and the Apocalypse. Yes, it's a zombie movie. It's a musical. But the whole thing takes place at Christmas. It's got Christmas music, holiday music, holiday cheer, lots of blood and gore. But the music is so good, it's so catchy. I've listened to the soundtrack on repeat over and over and over and over again since I watched it a month and a half ago. I can't recommend it enough, go check it out. I believe one of the retailers in the UK right now, Second Sight possibly, just put out a region free limited edition Blu-ray. Go check that out, go buy it. I can't recommend it enough. Anna and the Apocalypse. All right guys, bonus question time. Are we ready? Which actor has portrayed the best Santa Claus? Go! What actor has played the best Santa Claus? Uh, that's gotta be me, right? I got that hat and wearing red, right? I'm the best Santa, no? All right, no, I'll go with uh, Tim Allen, Santa Claus. Uh, best Santa Claus. Man, I gotta give that to Richard Attenborough from Miracle on 34th Street, the remake. Um, he doesn't run around with a bunch of ho-ho-hos. Ho-ho-hos! Santa? <laughs> yes, Virginia. There is a Santa Claus. <laughs> Jolly old Santa. <laughs> His uh, performance is kind of understated in that, uh, in that scenario, but he... Um, Man, he really shows a true love and joy for children in this film. 
and uh, I just think he's the perfect Santa. I think uh, Edward Asner from the movie Elf portrayed the perfect Santa. But I believe Santa is portrayed differently to everybody. In other words, you see Santa the way you wish him to be. Yeah, they all share the same characteristics, but they are portrayed differently by everyone. But um, I think Edward Asner from the movie Elf was probably the best portrayed Santa that I've ever seen. And the bonus question, definitely Dan Aykroyd in uh, Trading Places. Of that when he, when, when he's uh when he's got the the, the salmon the the fish whatever and he's is in, in his beard and yeah he's trying to need it and, and, and he tries to shoot himself and he can't. Throws the gun, and goes off. That's hilarious, man. I love that. Probably gonna watch this after this. Have a great day, guys. All right, everybody. Love you. Have a good one. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. By the time you watch this, all right. Take care. I'll probably be in a in a fucking taco coma somewhere with empty bottles, beer bottles. So you'll know that I had a fucking great Christmas and a great New Year. Take care. High five. A lot of good choices in there. A lot of good choices. Thank you guys. For me, I mean, I think about it. You know, Kurt Russell was really good last year in Christmas Chronicles. And Tim Allen is obviously a great Santa Claus of the Santa uh -huh. Claus. But I recently revisited the 1994 film Miracle on 34th Street, which is a remake. Richard Attenborough is in there. Sir Richard Attenborough that most people would recognize from Jurassic Park. And I got to tell you, oh. He played such a good Santa Claus. Hello, little one. How are you? Uh, Come. Well. Uh, she's deaf. You don't have to talk to her. She just wanted to see you. Thank you. <laughs> you are a very Beautiful young lady. <laughs> What's your name? Sammy. That's a beautiful name. Very, very <laughs> believable. I absolutely, honestly, I really, really enjoy that film now. I didn't appreciate it as a kid. I thought it was boring back when I was a kid. Now, really appreciate it. Great acting all around. There we go. Sir Richard Attenborough as Santa Cruz. Everyone, that is it. I know that's a little bit shorter than a Halloween special, but you know what? It's the holidays, everyone's busy. Before I go, I just wanna say thank you to Jake Doyle, Snolly Goster. He makes these things as amazing as they look. He also works on all of Kobe's Steelbook videos. Jake, you're an awesome dude. Keep up the great work, man. Uh, I love working with you. High Dev Ninja would not be the same without you. And I also want to give a big round of applause to our fearless leaders, John and Andy. You guys are awesome. I love you. Happy holidays. I hope you get really, really not drunk and that you're very responsible and that you eat well and digest well. All right, let's turn this baby around. Let's turn this around. You ready, Jake? I know you're ready, buddy. Let's let's do this. Oh, Merry Christmas, baby. The snow is falling outside. Oh, Merry Christmas, baby. The ninjas are come for your hide. And if you don't, you can suck. Candy cane, you're a sentence in the sleigh. Reindeer and twins, fur trinch in a pear tree, and Frankie's in ribs, I don't know why. Oh, 
2020.